For Scholastic Scrimmage is provided by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley. Funding is also provided by Lehigh Valley Bank. Lehigh Valley Bank provides student loan plans for undergraduates, graduate students, and parents of students, as well as a full line of regular banking services. Our name says it all. The series is also made possible by Channel 39 School Services participating districts. WLVT-TV presents Scholastic Scrimmage, a weekly program featuring teams from Lehigh Valley High Schools in a contest of quick recall. Tonight's teams are from Catasauqua High School and Southern Lehigh High School. Your host for Scholastic Scrimmage is Harry Price. Good evening and welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage. We're going to meet the teams and the coaches, then we'll begin the contest. From Catasauqua High School, Andrew Shipper, a sophomore. Joe Kavinsky is a senior. The captain is Doug Nederostek. He is a junior. Julie Huddleston, a senior. And the coach is Pat Callahan, teacher of physics. <laughs> From Southern Lehigh High School, Jeff Strong, a senior. Captain Scaff Elias, senior. Janessa Kepler, a senior. George Nagy, a junior. And we have two coaches. Mrs. Ann Thomas, who is a teacher of social studies, and Joe Holinsky, teacher of chemistry. <laughs> Channel 39 is pleased to announce that at the conclusion of this series, after the June championship contest, the Air Products Foundation will present a $1,500 scholarship award to the championship high school and a $750 scholarship award to the runner-up high school. Remember, the answers to the questions on Scholastic Scrimmage require rapid recall of factual information and aren't necessarily indicative of academic training. The rules for the contest are as follows. On toss-up questions, you'll be given 10 points for each correct answer, and 10 points will be deducted for an incorrect response. If you answer incorrectly, then the opposing team will have an opportunity to answer without penalty. They'll receive 5 points for a correct answer in this situation. Of course, a correct answer to a toss-up question gives you the opportunity to answer a bonus question without penalty. Team members may confer only on the bonus questions, and the answers to these questions should be given to me by the two team captains. A buzzer will signal the end of the contest. If it sounds while a question is being asked, the game stops. If the buzzer goes off while you are answering a question, however, you will be permitted to complete your answer, but no bonus questions will be asked. Are there any questions? And we'll begin our contest with the first toss-up. We're looking at a 10-point bonus. For 10 points, Spanish explorer Balboa is reputed to be the first European to see what? Catasauqua, Doug. The Pacific Ocean. Correct. September 25th, 1513. Here's your bonus, a 10-pointer, Doug. You give me the answers, and again, you may confer. For five points apiece, identify these two famous escapees. First one, from Mecca. Mohammed? Correct. In 622, the Hajira, or Hejira, from Corregidor. Doug? No response. That would be Douglas MacArthur in World War II, uh, in uh, March uh, of World War II, March 1942. Going for a 10-point bonus, toss-up, multiple choice. Jesus walked on water and invited Peter to join him. For 10 points and from the following, what did Peter do? Did he sink for lack of faith? Did he beg Jesus to get back in the boat? Did he want John to go ahead of him? Or did he refuse the invitation? Southern Lehigh, George. A. A was sank for lack of faith, and that is correct. It's in Matthew chapter 14. 10 point bonus. Five points apiece. Identify these characters from British literature. They made a brew composed of eye of newt and toe of frog. Scaff? The three witches in Macbeth. You are correct. He said, I wear the chain I forged in life. Scaff? Jacob Marley in uh, Christmas Carol. Will we accept, judges? We will accept uh, Jacob Marley, Jacob Marley's ghost in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Going for a ten-point bonus, here's your toss-up. It's a multiple choice. Gazing into space, you notice an orange star, a red star, 
a blue star, and a white star. So again, orange star, red star, blue star, and white star. For 10 points, you deduce from this observation that which one has the highest Southern Lehigh scaf? The blue star. Blue star. It has the highest surface temperature, around 40,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Correct. Bonus, 10 pointer. The latissimus, latissimus dorsi muscle may be used to supplant the artificial heart and heart transplants. I want you to locate the latissimus dorsi. Scaff? Shoulder? We will not accept. It's really, it's, it's a back muscle under the, in the armpit area to the middle of the back. Going for a 10-point bonus. Toss up. A right triangle has one side measuring three and a hypotenuse measuring five. Catasauqua Joe. Four. Incorrect. I'll read it for Southern Lehigh. It's a toss up. A right triangle has one side measuring three and a hypotenuse measuring five. I wanted to know what's its area. It's Jeff. Six. Six is correct. 10-point bonus. Multiple choice. Be on the monitor. Which one of the following is a simplified form of secant x divided by cosecant x? Is it sine x, cosine x, cotangent x, or tangent x? Scaff? Tangent x is correct. Going for a 15-point bonus. Toss up. For 10 points, name the only U.S. national park that borders the Gulf of Mexico. No response. Again, I wanted the only U.S. national park that borders the Gulf of Mexico, the Everglades. Toss-up, looking at a 10-point bonus. Zeus and Memory had nine daughters, sacred to historians, astronomers, poets, dancers, singers, and other artists. For 10 points, what's another name? Southern Lehigh Scaff. The Muses. Correct. What's another name for these inspiring and sometimes amusing immortal, immortals? And Scaff is correct. Bonus scaff for you and the team, 10-pointer, five points apiece. Identify these isms, I-S-I-S-M-S, -I -I these isms. Using the ideas, a written work of another as one's own. Scaff? Plagiarism. Correct. Favoritism toward relatives. Scaff? Nepotism. Nepotism is correct. Going for a 10-pointer, toss-up. What part of the human brain is divided into parts called the frontal, temporal, parietal, and occipital lobes? Lobes. Southern Lehigh Scaff. Cerebrum. Correct. And your bonus, a 10-pointer. There's a suffix, oid, O-I-D, which is usually found at the end of Greek roots. The suffix, often used in geometry, means having the form of, like, or resembling. For five points apiece, the earth is said to be an oblate... Scaff? Spheroid. Correct. The medians of a triangle have this point in common. Or is it centroid? Scaff. Centroid. Correct again. You've got your 10. Going for another 10-point bonus. Toss up. It's art on the monitor. This Florentine artistic master whose work dates from about the year 1300 is regarded as one of the greatest painters in the history of art. Southern Lehigh Scaff. Giotto. You are correct. A famous work of his, which you saw there on the monitor, is the Baptism of Christ, and I wanted you to name him Giotto di Bandone, and that is correct. Giotto, we accept. Bonus 10-pointer scaff. It's a graceful dance in triple meter. It was brought to the court of Louis XIV in the mid-17th century and was highly popular until the end of the 18th century. Composers such as Haydn and Mozart used a faster version as movements for parts of their symphonies. For 10 points, I wanted to know what it's called. Scaff. Waltz. Incorrect. It would be the minuet. Another toss-up, looking again at a 10-point bonus. For 10 points, give me the name for the German legislature during the Weimar Republic era. Southern Lehigh Scaff. Reichstag. You are correct. Bonus 10-pointer. During the 20th century, only two U.S. presidents have chosen to leave office rather than seek a second elected four-year term in that office. For five points each, name them. Coolidge. Scaff. Coolidge, Coolidge and no response. Coolidge is not acceptable. Harry Truman was one, and Lyndon Baines Johnson would be the other. 
another toss up going for a 10 point bonus the word diaphanous diaphanous means transparent or translucent for 10 points and no correcting yourself once you've begun southern lehigh janessa d-i-a-p-h-o-n-o-u-s incorrect we're going over to uh... Katasakwa. uh... i want you to spell the word diaphanous Doug. D-I-A-P-H-A-N-O-U-S. You are correct. Bonus, 10-pointer, Doug, for you and the team. It's a bonus question to test the team's vocabulary. Five points apiece. I want you to give me, first, a nine-letter verb, starting with the letter D as in dog, meaning leave a ship and go ashore. Doug. Disembark. Correct. A seven-letter adjective starting with the letter V is in Victor, meaning pointless, foolish, or idiotic. Doug. Vacuous. Correct again. You got your ten. Toss up on the monitor. I'm not going to try to read this. Perhaps I couldn't read that. It would take too long. But I'm going to give you a few seconds, and then I will signal the timekeeper to start the 10-second count. I want you to evaluate the expression you see there. Katasakwa, Doug. One. One is incorrect. Over to Southern Lehigh. Scaff? Five. Five is also incorrect. Is that impossible? It may be impossible to do in a, a half an hour. It's 81. The, the answer, the evaluation of that is 81. Going for a 15-point bonus. Here's your toss-up. For 10 points, name the state capital city that lies at the mouth of the Charles River. Southern Lehigh, Jeff. Boston. Correct. Massachusetts. Bonus, 15-pointer Scaff. These famous Americans have middle names as familiar as their first and last names. For five points each, you identify the missing middles. First one, George Custer. Scaff? Armstrong. Correct. William Garrison. Scaff? Henry? No, William Lloyd Garrison. He was a U.S. abolitionist, 1805 to 1879, but an abolitionist. Hubert Humphrey. Scaff? James. No, it's H-H-H, -H -H, Hubert H. Humphrey. H in the middle stands for Horatio. You got one out of the three for five points. We're going to take a halftime break now with the score at half, 110 for Southern Lehigh, 10 for Catasauqua. <laughs> Andrew Shipper, if you would begin, tell us about your extracurricular activities. We'll go around through both teams. I'm in drama, chorus, debate, and county chorus. Thank you, Andrew. Joe Kabinski. President of Drama Club, captain of cross-country team, co-captain of track team. Thanks, Joe. The captain, Doug Nederostik. I'm vice president of the debate club, member of the concert and jazz band, member of the drama club, National Honor Society student council, and I'm president of Medical Explorer Post 421 Cigarette Hospital. Thanks, Doug. Julie Huddleston. I'm a member of student council, National Honor Society, and a member of our school's literary magazine. Thank you, Julie. Thanks to Catasauqua. Southern Lehigh will begin with Jeff. Strom. I'm a member of the chess team, the yearbook, junior achievement, archery, the National Honor Society, and I'm a member and I'm a National Merit semifinalist. Thank you, Jeff. Scaff Elias, the captain. I'm a member I'm vice president of the National Honor Society. I'm a National Merit semifinalist. I'm in chess, archery, junior achievement. I'm a yearbook editor. I'm a student council representative, and I contribute to the school newspaper. Thanks, Scaff. Janessa Kepler. I contribute to the school newspaper. I'm in WSOL, the in-school radio station. I'm in chorus, chess club, drama guild, student council homeroom representative. I'm a, I'm a National Merit Commended student. Thank you, Janessa. And finally, George Nagy. I'm a member of the National Honor Society, an Eagle Scout with the Mincy Trails Council, a member of the Soli High Meister Singers Touring Singing Ensemble, a contributor to the Spotlight, our school newspaper, and a representative to student council. Thank you all. Thanks, George. Thanks to Southern Lehigh and to Catasauqua, an outstanding group of young people, very active. Again, the score at half is 110 for Southern Lehigh, 10 for Caddy, and we're going into the second half.
toss-up, looking at a 15-point bonus. For 10 points, name the dominant group of people of A.D. 802,701 in the time machine by H.G. Wells. Southern Lehigh Scaff. Marlax. Correct. The Eloy with the weak group. Bonus Scaff for you and the team. 15-pointer. We're going to test your horse sense in the series of horse nomenclature, or on horse nomenclature. For five points apiece, tell me, first, what is a normal male horse called? Scaff? Stallion. Correct. What do we call, uh, usually a young male horse, can be up to four years old? Scaff? Colt. Correct. What terms, and I'm looking for two answers here, what terms designate a young female horse and a fully mature female horse? Scaff? Billy is the young and mare would be the old. You are correct. You got your 15 toss up. Multiple choice. For 10 points, which one of the following theories explains light in terms of its polarizing properties? Would it be the wave theory, the quantum theory, or the particle theory? Southern Lehigh Scaff. Wave theory. Correct. Bonus Scaff. 10 pointer. I'm going to describe two minerals. For five points each, identify their standard one word names. First one, this relatively hard mineral is olive green gray or brown in color. It has a colorless streak and a glassy luster. Scaff. Soapstone. That would be olivine. Remember I said it was olive green. The, the name of the mineral is olivine. The next one. This yellow mineral has a metallic luster and is known as fool's gold. Right. Scaff. Iron pyrite. I'll accept. Pyrite. Going for a 15-point bonus toss-up. His first book was Legends of New England in Prose and Verse, published in 1831. A collection of anti-slavery verse was titled Voices of Freedom. Subsequent poems included The Barefoot Boy, Barbara Frecci, and his masterpiece Snowbound. I want you to name the poet. Catasacqua Julie. Robert Frost. Incorrect. Over to Southern Lehigh. George. Bryant. No, it would be John Greenleaf Whittier. John Greenleaf Whittier. Another toss-up, looking at a ten-pointer. It's a listening toss-up. Listen to the excerpt. It was written by Frederick Chopin. I want you to name it. Uh, Katasakwa, Andrew. Moonlight Sinyata. Incorrect. Over to Southern Lehigh. Janessa. The Minute Waltz. No, not that either. Again, it was by Chopin. It's the fantasy or fantasy impromptu. Another toss-up. It's a mathematical toss-up question. I want you to listen carefully. Point A is located, and it's on the monitor, point A is located in the XY plane at x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5, and point B is at x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3. For 10 points, what's the distance between the two points? Southern Lehigh, scan. Square root of 5. Correct. Here's your bonus, a 10-pointer. I'm going to give you a little more time. You might want to use paper and pencil on this. You almost definitely will want to use it. I'm going to read this twice so that you can get the information and have a little time to think about it. A rectangular bin, a rectangular bin, four feet long, three feet wide, two feet high, is solidly packed with bricks whose dimensions are eight inches by four inches by two inches. Again, you've got a four foot long, three foot wide, two feet high rectangular bin. It's packed with bricks whose dimensions are eight inches, four inches, and two inches. For 10 points, calculate the number of bricks in the bin. Scaff. 48. No, 648. 648 bricks would be in the bin. You have to change your inches to feet. So 8 inches is 2 thirds of a foot and so on. Going for a 10-point bonus. Toss-up. 
In January, before leaving office, Tony Anaya, America's only Hispanic governor, commuted the sentences of all five death row inmates in that state to life terms. He was the outgoing governor of what state? Catasauqua, Doug. Florida. Incorrect. Over to Southern Lehigh. Scat. Texas. That was New Mexico. Tony Anaya. Toss up. Going for a 10 pointer. Where the Wild Things Are won a Caldecott Medal as a distinguished American picture book for children. For 10 points, who wrote Where the Wild Things Are? It would be Maurice Sendak. Uh, he's, he, he has these slightly grotesque drawings and tales uh, which convey uh, uh, terror and rage. It frightens little children, but they like them. Go on. Maurice Sendak. Going for a 10-pointer. Toss up multiple choice. For 10 points and from the following, do abyssal, let me spell that, A-B-Y-S-S-A-L, do abyssal creatures inhabit the ocean floors, the treetops, Caves or other creatures? Southern Lehigh, Janessa. Caves. Incorrect. Over to Catasauqua. Doug? Treetops. No, abyssal. Uh, they would inhabit the ocean floors. Going on to another toss up. It means a small, unimportant, insignificant town. You may actually find towns of this name in Massachusetts and Connecticut. I want you to give me the word. Podunk, P-O-D-U-N-K, which is a North American Indian tribe, Algonquin tribe in New England, was. Here's your toss-ups. At which memorial site in New York's Central Park did rock music fans recently pay tribute to John Lennon? Southern Lehigh, Janessa. Strawberry Fields. Correct, Janessa. Bonus 15 pointer scat. Five points apiece. Name these literary characters. First one. He roams for 20 years before returning to Ithaca. Scat? Odysseus. Correct. Or in Roman, it would be Ulysses. She's the narrator of the Arabian night stories. Scat? Scheherazade. Correct. The simple but strong man dreams of having a chicken and rabbit farm. Scaff? Frank Miller. No, it would be Lenny Small. It's in, of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, published in 1937. Lenny Small. Another toss-up, going for a 10-point bonus. A mathematical function is a rule that assigns to each member of a set A exactly one member of another set B. The set B is called the range. What's the set Katasakwa Joe? Domain. Correct. What's the set A called? You are correct, Joe. And Doug, for you and the team, it's a mathematical bonus question. And I want you to listen to it carefully. Consider the expression. And it's on the monitor. X squared minus the absolute value of the quantity 2 minus X. I want you to evaluate that expression for x is equal to 3. Doug, correct. Now evaluate it for x is equal to a negative 2. Doug? Zero. Correct. You've got your 10. Going for another 10-pointer. Toss-up. This country contains or shares 15 of the 50 largest lakes in the world. Three of these uh, 15 lakes are Athabasca, Nipigon, and Winnipeg. It's Catasauqua, Doug. Canada. Right, I wanted you to name the country. Bonus, Doug, 10-pointer. For five points each, name the countries in which the mouths of the following rivers are located. First one, Volga. Doug? Soviet Union. Correct. Colorado. Doug? United States. That would be Mexico. It empties in the Gulf of California in, in Mexico. One out of the two for five. Going for another ten-point bonus. Toss-up. For ten points, give me the eight-letter plural noun that starts with the letter H and that refers to the platforms which political cam campaign speeches are made. We 
don't use or hear this term quite as often as we used to. It's hustings, H-U-S-T-I-N-G-S. Another toss-up. Which U.S. department includes, among other agencies, the Bureau of Reclamation and the Bureau of Indian Affairs? Southern Lehigh, George. Department of the Interior? Correct, George. Ten-point bonus, Scat. The tragic explosion of the shuttle Challenger in January 1986 left the United States with only three operational space shuttles. Name any two of those three. Scat. Atlantis and Columbia. Those are two, and the third is Discovery. You have your ten points. Going for another 15-point bonus. Toss up. Multiple choice. For ten points in front of the following. What does capricious, C-A-P-R-I-C-I-O-U-S, what does capricious mean? Does it mean active, unstable, opposed, or slippery? Southern Lehigh. The buzzer's gone off. Janessa, give me your answer. Unstable. Unstable is correct. We're not going to ask a bonus question. That's the final buzzer, and the final score is 200 for Southern Lehigh, 15 for Catasauqua. <laughs> Joe uh, Kabinsky, Julie Huddleston, good luck to you in college. Uh, Andy Shipper, Doug Nederostik, we're going to see you back here again. Catasauqua, you did well going into the second round. Southern Lehigh, we do congratulate you. We're going to see you back here again in the third round. It's going to be in early May. And uh, you're going to meet Jim Thorpe in that third round contest. Next week, we have Allentown Central Catholic High School against Boyertown High School. This is Harry Price. Thank you for being with us, and good night. <laughs>